not had a chance yet to meet in person and um, I'm excited today to be sharing the practice of yoga with you. We are going to be making our way um, through a flow style practice today and this style practice is suitable for everyone. It's all levels. Just know that anything that I say is a suggestion and an offering. So I'll give you lots of different options to um, modify, but also to take things up if you want to build some heat and add um, some more challenges into your practice. And my words will guide you, but just know that your real teacher is that voice within. And your breath is a good way to measure um, if you have overexerted or may want to um, kind of add a little bit more power in. So um, I have blocks with me today. If you have blocks with you, that's an awesome prop to help bring the earth up to you a little bit, provide some more support. Um, if you don't have blocks at home, but you know that might be something that you need um, or would like, you could get some firm pillows or a stack of books as well. So those are what you will need. Um, if you do have any kind of technical difficulties or you have um, some trouble hearing me, go ahead and just in the comments, leave a note. I have Emily here with me and she is going to be uh, providing tech support. So with that being said, we will get started. And um, if you will make your way into a child's posture with your big toes touching your knees can splay wide just to give yourself some more room and walk your hands forward let your heart bow down toward the earth let your forehead settle on your mat and take these first few moments just to settle into stillness find your way into a comfortable position And in your mind, visualize your spine as long and as straight as you possibly can. So your sit bones drawing down toward the earth, your forehead, the space between your eyebrows anchoring right into your mat, and keeping your arms soft or keeping them really nice and active, whatever feels better in your body. Know that your body may signal a need to move like an itch or another minor discomfort. Challenge yourself to examine that sensation without reacting to it, without responding right away. Take a deep inhale through your nose, fill your lungs to the top, part your lips and sigh out of your mouth. Another deep breath in, fill up, lungs expand. Exhale, release. And now the deepest breath you've taken all day, all week long comes next. Fill up. Let it go. From here, your breath becomes natural. So it's effortless almost. Just in and out through your nose. And without trying to control your breath in any way, just bring full awareness to the sensation of breathing. Maybe it's the air traveling in and out through your nostrils that you choose to focus on. Maybe it's the subtle rise and fall of your belly, your ribs, or your back. Know that thoughts will happen, but when you notice that you're thinking, try not to judge yourself. Just simply return to your breath. And know that every return to your breath is a return to the present moment. The past is a memory. The future is imagination. And so the only place that you can truly and physically exist is this very moment and this very breath. With your arms extended forward, begin crawling your hands over toward the right side of your mat, opening up and expanding through the left side of your rib cage. As you breathe, breathe into the space between each rib. Allow your head to continue hanging heavy. Start to tune into physical sensations that you feel, where your body makes contact to the earth or your mat, whatever's supporting you. Feel the weight of your hands where they rest. 
and see if you can feel your heart beating. And then draw your awareness to the furthest place from your heart that you can feel your pulse. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale, part your lips, sigh out. Hands will crawl through center. Take them over to the left side of the room. Open, expansive nature through the right side of your rib cage, getting long through both sides of your body. Forehead rests against your mat. Tune into sounds that are present, maybe in your near surroundings, maybe sounds on my end. Try to become deeply aware of the sounds that seem most far off and faint first, and then draw your awareness to sounds that seem closer and more apparent. Take a breath in, a sigh out, hands crawl through center, pause here, and just take notice of your emotional state. If it's any different than when you first arrived to your mat, first began your practice, and see if you can notice a connection between your physical body and your emotional state. For me, I often feel stress or tension in my shoulders and neck, whereas excitement or nerves are felt in my belly like butterflies. Happiness is usually expressed as a smile across my face. Just see what connection you can find between your physical body and what's happening within. And you're invited to stay in stillness for as long as you want or need, or as you're ready to begin moving, come to rise on an inhale. Find tabletop, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, and just invite in any natural movement that comes to mind right away, anything that would feel good. So you're not limited to these suggestions, but you might try swaying your rib cage off from right to left. You might try a forward and backward shift, stretching through your wrists and forearms. Or maybe your body remains still, but your head, shoulders, and neck kind of roll out and sway side to side. There's no rules here, no right, no wrong. It may help to close your eyes to keep your focus drawn inward, that will help you decide what you need, where you wanna go. And then from here, we'll tuck the toes. Begin to walk your hands in. Let your sit bones come to rest down over your heels. Come into a kneeling position. Take an inhale, sweep your arms up over your head. Find an interlace through your fingers. Flip your palms up to the sky and begin tick-tock, tick-tocking right to left. So as you take your arms, side to side and once again you're opening up and lengthening through both sides of the ribs and then bring your palms forward good steady breath in and out two more here and out last one in and out Begin to shake out your hands, rock forward, plant your palms and top out the tops of your feet. Good, keeping shoulders over wrists, take an inhale and sweep your left arm up to the sky. Fingertips reach, palm open toward the left side of your space. Stack your left shoulder over your right and begin taking circles through your left arm, slow and controlled. And so sweeping one singular direction. Try to synchronize your circles with your breath. Good. And then reverse the circles. Take it nice and slow. Imagine that your arm was moving through water. So rather than flinging or using momentum, try to create in your mind some sort of resistance that you're working with. 
Bring your left palm back down to the mat, plant it back to meet the right finger, spread nice and wide. Extend your left toes behind you. Toes are tucked to the back of your mat, rock forward and back. So keep your crown of head extended forward, your gaze down between your hands. Back of neck is soft. Meet in a neutral place with shoulders over your wrist. Slide your toes off over to the right side of your space. Draw your chin towards your right shoulder. Receive a side body stretch through the left, getting into the IT band. Left toes come straight out behind you. Left leg extended out from the hip. Flex through your toes, lift up through your left leg. Keep your foot in line with your hip. Take an inhale here. And on your exhale, engage your core. Press into your palms. Draw your left knee in and tap your left elbow. On your inhale, left leg extends. Toes are flexed toward the earth. Exhale, round in. Press into the mat. Shoulder blades toward the sky. Once more, left leg extends. Exhale, round in. On your inhale, left leg extends. Toes tuck toward the back of your mat. Press into your palms, suction your right knee up and into your chest. Create space for your right foot to step through. Draw your left knee down to the earth and then sweep your arms to the sky. Find a low lunge. Keep your right ankle, your hips right over left knee. Draw your shoulder blades together. Draw your navel up and in toward your spine. Pinkies roll in, thumbs out. Maybe gaze lifts up to the sky. Stay for the inhale. On your exhale, bring your hands down to frame your right foot. Here's where blocks or your books or pillows may come in handy, just elevating yourself so that you're not um, just slumping over your right thigh. Your palms can press into the blocks, or if you don't have anything, you can always tint up onto your fingertips to create more height. Take an inhale, draw your heart forward. As you exhale, straighten through your right leg, come into half splits. Your right knee might remain slightly bent. Maybe your toes flex in toward your nose. On your inhale, travel forward, shift forward, drop your left hip toward the earth and send your heart through. Exhale, press into your hands on the blocks or the earth, lengthen through your right leg. Travel with your breath. So if my cues are too fast or too slow, once you've figured out where you're going, you know where you want to take this, use your breath as your guide. We'll take two more full cycles of breath in and out. And then use the next inhale to travel forward. Plant your left palm down on the earth and sweep your right arm to the sky. Find that stacking of your shoulder right over left, right fingertips reaching, left palm pressing to the earth. Bring your right hand down to frame your right foot. Tuck your left toes and lift up through your left knee. Keeping palms connected to the earth, slide your right leg back to meet the left high plank pose. And then pressing into your hands, lift up through your hips, find downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet, sway your hips from side to side, and allow your head to hang heavy. Pressing into your palms, external rotation through your shoulders, lifting up through your heels, deep bend through your knees. And then maybe that bend in your knees stays, maybe it becomes slighter, more like a micro bend. Take an inhale, shift your weight forward, come into a high plank. On your exhale, child's pose, knees to the earth, big toes touch, press your way back. Take a moment here to pause. Notice how your body's feeling, how that translates to your emotional state. And use this shape and this time in rest to come home to yourself. If thoughts have entered, try to take you into other parts of your day or your week, stillness will bring you back. On your inhale, come to rise through tabletop. Sweep your right arm to the sky. And so other side, begin making circles in one direction with your right arm. 
slow and steady. Just like your breath, full and complete. Reverse the circles. Good. And plant your right hand down to the earth. Right leg extends long, toes are tucked. Good. Shift forward and back a few times. And then take your toes off over to the left side of the room. Deep stretch through the right side of your body as chin draws to left shoulder. Send your right toes behind you. Press into your palms, flex through your right foot. Draw your right leg to a hover. Stay for the inhale and exhale, right knee in, tap your right elbow. Inhale, extend your right leg long and exhale, round in. Inhale, extend, exhale, round in. Good. Inhale, extend your right leg. Tuck your right toes at the back of the mat, press into your palms, left knee into chest, left foot steps through, right knee to the earth, low lunge, arms sweep high. Check your alignment, feel strong and rooted down through your feet, and then lifting up, lengthening through your spine and through your arms. Take an inhale here, or a block. Inhale, heart draws forward, exhale, half splits. Inhale, make your way into your lunge, shifting forward, and exhale, press back, lengthen through your left hamstrings. I'd find this at your own pace, remember. And you can also find stillness here. So if the movement feels like too much or not what you need in any given moment, just find stillness and then breathe into the stillness of a stretch. Good. Next time you inhale, allow that inhale to bring you forward. Plant your right hand to the mat and sweep your left arm to the sky. Try to keep your hips level, but shoulders stacked. Gaze follows your left hand. Left palm down to the earth, right toes will tuck, right knee lifts, left leg snakes through, find a high plank. Press into your palms, lift your hips high, downward facing dog. You have three breaths here, stillness or movement. Anytime we return through downward facing dog, which will sort of be like our home base for the practice, you can also take this to child's, which provides just a more restorative, passive variation of rest, whereas down dog is really active. Take your gaze forward to the top of your mat, lift up through your heels, bend your knees, tiptoe, step, or hop forward, feet to meet hands. Take an inhale, lift up halfway. Crown of head draws forward, shoulder blades draw together. Long, flat spine. Exhale, fold forward, soften your knees. Two more like that. Inhale, lift halfway. And exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Reach your arms overhead. And exhale, hands to your heart. Good, sun salutation A. Inhale, sweep your arms to the sky. Roll your legs. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, plant your hands. Step your feet back. Take an inhale, shift your weight forward. Bring your knees to the earth for support or not. Ride your exhale all the way to the earth. Keep your elbows in, chest and belly to the earth. Take an inhale, lift up through your heart, cobra pose. And exhale brings you into child's or downward facing dog. If you've come through child's, take an inhale to rise through table. Exhale to tuck your toes and lift your hips. Gaze forward, inhale, heels lift, knees bend. Exhale, step or hop forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Good. Pause here. Close your eyes. Drop back into the present. Stay engaged even when the body is still. Stay engaged in the breath. Stay engaged with intention and in your mind. Take an inhale. Sweep your arms high. 
half lift inhale exhale plant your hands step your feet back option to make your way through the flow we did as we did the first time around or shifting forward on your inhale knees are not lower only halfway down for four limb staff take an inhale from here draw your heart forward press tops of feet into your earth hover your thighs for upward dog and then exhale press into your palms roll over your feet downward facing dog if you've come through child's remember inhale through table exhale to dog on the inhale we gaze forward lift heels bend knees exhale step or hop to the top of your mat half lift inhale exhale to fold inhale rise inhale arms sweep high over your legs half lift inhale exhale plant your hands step your feet back through a flow or right into rest inhale shift forward first exhale to lower your way inhale heart forward tops of feet press exhale downward dog or child a place of rest as you come into this shape you've got 12 breaths to explore that exploration might be stillness or movement, whatever you need. And if you're unsure, remember, close your eyes, turn your awareness in and ask yourself, use your breath as a tool. Use your breath as a guide. Your movement might be another full sun salutation. Maybe it's something different that your body is craving. Either way, what you're doing, you have a singular focus. So what you're doing is a form of meditation. Make your way back to child's pose. Sit bones over your heels, arms extend forward. Take rest for a moment. Think of this shape like hitting the pause button. So stay engaged and staying present in your mind, but giving your body just a chance to settle, to notice what come, has come up so far in the practice. Take an inhale, come to rise up through table. On your exhale, tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward dog. Take an inhale to send your right leg to the sky. Keep pressing equally through both hands. Bend through your right knee and open your hip. So you're drawing your right knee toward the ceiling, your right heel in toward your left glute. Remain still if you'd like, or you might add in circles with your right foot, maybe circles with your whole right leg. And try to keep the shoulders firm and stable by continuing to press equally through both hands. Take an inhale, send your right leg to the sky. On your exhale, draw your knee forward. Plant your foot between your hands. Draw your left, heel, left knee to the earth, excuse me, and sweep your arms to the sky. Find that low lunge. Take an inhale here. On your exhale, twist with arms open wide. Left arm forward, right arm sweeps back. Stay just as you are or bring your right hand to your left thigh and reach your left arm up and behind you. Think of this as a side body stretch and a back bend. Your heart is lifting up. Cartwheel your hands down to frame your right foot. Tuck your left toes, lift up through your left knee. Gaze forward of your right big toe. Step left foot up to meet right. Take an inhale, lift halfway. Exhale to fold forward over your legs. On your inhale, sweep your arms to the sky. Heart. Gaze to the earth for stability. Root down through your left foot. Draw your right knee up and into your chest. And then this is where you might stay or add in the twist from here. Left hand to right shin. Right arm sweeps back in space. Gaze can stay at the earth for stability, or if you'd like to challenge your balance, look back for your right thumb. Or 
Bring your right hand to the front of right shin. Softly plant your right foot down to meet left. Sweep arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. And inhale into chair. Sit low, sweep fingertips high. Draw your weight into your heels. Lift up through your heart. Roll pinkies in, thumbs out. Engage through your core, draw everything up and in. On an exhale, fold forward over your legs. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, plant your hands, step your feet back through a flow or right into a place of rest, yogi's choice. Down dog is where we'll meet. Take your time getting there. Savor the movement or the stillness. On your inhale, left leg lifts, toes to the sky. Exhale, bend through your left knee, open your hip, keep your shoulders level. Stillness or circles with the left leg or the left foot. Isolating the movement, whatever part of your body that you're moving. And then inhale, toes to the sky, lengthen through your left leg. Exhale, gaze forward, shift forward, left knee forward. Left foot plants. Right knee to the earth, arms sweep high, low lunge. Exhale, twist, right arm forward, left arm back. Keep reaching actively through both arms, shoulders and heart open to the left side. Stay as you are, or left hand to right leg, reverse. Reach your right arm up and over. Take an inhale. Exhale, hands cartwheel down, frame your left foot. Tuck your right toes, lift up through your right knee, gaze forward, step forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale to fold. And inhale, arms sweep high. Left knee into your chest, right foot anchors down. Take an inhale. On your right hand to left shin, left arm sweeps back. Good. Stay just as you are or challenge your balance. Take your gaze past your left shoulder towards your left thumb. Good. And if you wiggle or wobble or fall out, just come right back into the shape. Unfurl from the twist, left hand forward. Left foot plant softly, arms sweep to the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale to chair, sweep your fingertips toward the earth, sit down low and then lift up through your chest. Stay for the inhale and the exhale. One more breath in, exhale fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, plant your hands, step your feet back. Option to flow or option to come into rest, yogi's choice. From downward facing dog, take it to three-legged dog. Send your right leg to the sky, building heat in the body. Stay for your inhale. On your exhale, right knee draws in, taps right elbow. Inhale, send your right leg high. Exhale, draw in, shift forward. Use your core, inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, right knee taps right elbow. Draw your knee towards your nose, and then step your right foot through your hands. Spin your left heel down, anchor it to the earth, sweep your arms to the sky, find warrior one. If you need to heel toe your right foot out so that your feet are in their own train tracks, do that now. Keep lunging through your right knee, it's tracking right over your ankle. Shoulder blades draw down your back, arms reach high. Stay for the inhale. Stay for the exhale. Good. Now start to lift up through your left heel. Come to the ball of your left foot. Draw your hands into your heart center, thumbs glued to your chest. Gaze forward of your right big toe. Begin hinging your chest forward. Nice, strong core. Transition forward into warrior three. Chest bowing forward, left foot is active. Toes flex toward the earth. Lift up through your heart. Kick back through your left heel. Stay for the breath in and the breath out. 
begin to transition, come to standing left knee into your chest. So it may happen one swift movement, or you may come to stand, tap your left foot down, find your balance and draw your left knee up and in. Stay for the inhale. Good, and exhale, twist. Inhale, pass. Reach to the sky, steady balance. Foot down, hands to heart. Inhale into chair, sweep your fingertips against the earth, sit low, reach your arms high. And exhale, twist open to the left, right arm forward, left fingertips sweep back. So option to stay just as you are, arms open, to bring your right forearm down, keep reaching back with left hand. Or if you'd like, you can bring your hands to prayer and then bring your right elbow outside of your left thigh. That'll be a deep twist with lots of compression. So if you've got a baby uh, with you, avoid that shape. Or if it just doesn't feel right in your body, avoid it. On your inhale, release, come to rise, standing. Exhale, fold forward over your legs. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, plant your hands, step your feet back. Good, making your way through a flow if heat would feel good. Or making your way into rest. You always have the freedom to choose. Take an inhale, send your left leg to the sky. Exhale, left knee draws in, taps left elbow. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, shift forward and squeeze. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee draws in. Draw your knee towards your nose, press into your palms, make room for your left foot, and step it through. Warrior one legs, right heel dials down, arms sweep high, take a breath in and a breath out. Strong through the legs, proud through the heart. Draw your hands in, thumbs towards your chest. Draw your right heel off of the earth, balancing on the ball of your right foot. Start shifting forward, chest hovers over your left thigh. Shift forward, lift up through your right leg, flex through your right foot, and bow your heart down to the mat. There's a slight cobra in your back. Travel forward, right knee up and into your chest, a one-legged mountain. So remember, maybe the right toes tap to the earth and then draw your right knee up and into your chest. Left hand to right shin, right arm sweeps back. Close out the twist, hands to shin, right foot taps down, arms reach high. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale into your chair. And then exhale into your twist. Right arm sweeps back. So same options as before. Keep the arms extended long. Maybe bring the left forearm down to the thighs. Or maybe connect your palms. Take a deeper twist. Keeping length through your spine, hook your left elbow outside of your right thigh. Create lots of compression through your body. Make sure you're twisting through the mid back though, your thoracic spine rather than your lumbar. Take an inhale to untwist, release, reach up high, and exhale, hands to your heart. Here we pause, close the eyes, feel the connection between your feet and the earth. Feel the connection between your hands and your heart. Feel your heart beating in your chest. Feel the rate of your breath. The warmth through your body. These are all signs of vitality and life. And take a moment to honor yourself in stillness. and to connect with anything else that resonates with you and your heart today. It could be with something within you or something outside of you. In stillness, honor this connection 
as well. Take an inhale, sweep your arms high up to the sky. Hand to your left wrist and begin taking your hands over to the right, opening up and expanding through the left side of your ribs. And then rise up through center. Take your left arm to your right wrist. Take hands to the left, hips off to right. Take an inhale to rise through center. Find an interlace of your fingers and flip your palms up to the sky. And then take your palms forward here. Option to stay. Maybe draw chin into chest. Take your arms up, release your hair, and begin to circle out your wrist. And inhale, arms with high. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, plant your hands down and step your feet back. Take it through a flow or into rest. Your choice. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Take an inhale to send your right leg high. Good, and then just begin to circle out through your right ankle with your right leg extended. Maybe you're also pointing and flexing through your right foot. Just keeping your right foot engaged and active to ensure the whole leg is engaged and active. And then find stillness for the breath in. On your exhale, draw your knee forward, plant your right foot. Spiral your left heel down, hips and shoulders open, windmill open to warrior two. Deep in through your right knee. Once again, left blade edge of foot is anchored to the earth. Gaze out past your right fingertips, draw your shoulder blades down your back. Stay for the breath in and the breath out. On your next inhale, flip your right palm, reach forward and exhale up and over into reverse warrior. Left hand slides down your back leg. Think of getting nice and long through right, from right hip crease into right fingertips. Take an inhale and exhale into side angle, right forearm, right thigh, left arm reaches up and over. Nice long line from blade edge of left foot all the way into left fingertips. Obliques are engaged, lengthen through both sides of your body. Take an inhale as you come to rise up to warrior two and then straighten out through your right leg. Reach forward through right fingertips, hinge back through left hip, find your way into triangle, right hand to right shin, left arm reaching up to sky. Roll your left shoulder back in space, energy through each fingertip. And then inhale up and over into reverse warrior. Good, exhale, hands cartwheel down, frame your right foot, come to the ball of the left, plant left palm firmly and sweep your right arm up to the sky. Good. Find the twist here. Draw your left knee to the earth, and then inhale to come right up, arms reaching wide. Take it back into reverse. Hands cartwheel down, frame your right foot. Left toes tuck, left knee lifts, snake your right leg back to meet left, through a flow or into down dog. Inhale, left leg lift. I point and flex through your left foot. Good. Stay for your breath in. Exhale, left knee draws forward, left foot plants. Right heel spins to the earth, arms open nice and wide, warrior two. Keep your bend through your left knee. Stay for the inhale. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, left palm flips, reach forward. Exhale, up and over, reverse warrior. Inhale, brings you up. Exhale, side angle. Good. Come to right. Straighten through your left leg. Send your right hip back in space. Reach forward through left fingertips. Hinge your way down. Triangle. Good. 
Inhale brings you all the way up and over into reverse warrior. Good. Exhale, hands cartwheel down, frame your left foot. Come to the ball of right, plant your right hand and sweep your left arm to the sky. Draw your right knee to the earth, engage your core, rise up. Take it into reverse, left hand to right thigh, right arm reaching up and over. Cartwheel your hands down, frame your left foot, tuck your right toes, lift up through your right knee. Left leg snakes back to meet the right, through a flow, into down dog, or into child's pose. In child's pose is where we'll meet. And as you settle in there, remember, return home to yourself. Return to stillness in your physical body. And see if you can mirror that same stillness in your mind. And if thoughts are swirling through the head, come back to the breath. Focus on each inhale, each exhale. And feel the energy in your body Maybe starting to settle. And think of all of the work, all of the effort that you've put in so far. And then try to channel or try to bring in the type of energy that you want to have for the remainder of your practice. And maybe that you'll carry with you off of your mat and into your day. Each day looks different. Each day we show up and we feel different. Yoga gives us the opportunity and the time to connect with ourselves and to take into account not only how we're feeling, but how we want to feel. Take your time coming to rise back up through downward facing dog. When you get there, tuck your toes, lift your hips. Take an inhale to send your right leg high to the sky. Bend through your right knee, open through your hip. Option for stillness or circles. Or if you'd like wild things, shift forward, bring your shoulders over your wrists and flip your dog. Step your right foot behind the left. Press up through your hips and heart. And then spiral your heart open. Let your right hand drop back. Let your gaze follow your right hand. Carefully bring your right hand back to the earth. Send your right toes high. Take a breath in. Good. On your exhale, draw your right knee towards your left elbow. Extend through your right leg. Draw your left heel to the earth and sweep your left arm to the sky. Fall in triangle or fall in star. And then bring your left hand back to the earth. Step your right Downward dog. Send your right leg high, breath in. Good. And exhale, something good is coming, half pigeon. Draw your right knee towards your right wrist. Right ankle to left wrist. Settle in. I guess good and bad are judgments, and it's all relative. So maybe this feels nice in your body. Maybe it's a pose that challenges you. Either way, try to accept exactly what is being offered to you in this moment. So to make this posture feel more accessible, you can always take a block and set it right under your right hip, especially if you know that the hips are tight or if you have any strain that you're feeling through your right knee. 
If you feel comfortable from here, you can start to walk your hands forward. Let your chest bow down toward the earth. Or if this feels like too much for you, you can always find this shape on your back. It's called a reclined pigeon or reclined figure four stretch with your right ankle over your left thigh and then your left thigh drawing up and into your chest. Hands will interlace behind the left and then work toward drawing your right shin towards your chest. Wherever you are in the reclined variation of this posture, or if you're in traditional or sleeping pigeon, just settle in. This might be a place where you choose to close your eyes. Where you focus once again on allowing that energy to come down and to soften. So if you notice that you're tensing up and trying to just kind of fight through the posture, you may be building that energy. You might be continuing to build the heat in your body even though you're still. And even though you might feel like you're tensing areas of your body that are completely unrelated to the pose, chances are if your face and jaw and shoulders are all tensed up, then your hips are doing the same thing, contracting. So find a place in your body that you can soften and then feel the ripple effect of that softening. What else can you let go of? Sometimes what comes up for us in this physical posture is not just areas in our body where we're needing to let go and where we're needing to soften. Maybe areas in your emotional state, areas of your heart, stories in your mind. What else can you let go of? Can you move on from and release to establish a deeper, more authentic connection to yourself? Three more breaths here. Two more breaths. Last breath in stillness. And then walk your hands in, slowly rise up through your chest. If you're in a traditional pigeon, you have an option to add in a quad stretch by drawing your left heel back and or left heel in toward your glute, reaching back through your left arm and receiving your foot into your hand. The further in that you draw your heel towards your glute, the more sensation rich this will feel through the front of your left thigh. And some of you might hook your toes into your elbow crease or even sweep your right arm back in space and clasp your palms. If you're in this mermaid variation, work to square your shoulders and your heart toward the front of the room. But if it doesn't feel good or it's not happening in your body today, that's perfectly fine. Good. We'll all meet back in a down dog. Take five full cycles of breath to get there. So take your time. Plant both hands on your mat. Tuck your left toes. Lift up through your left knee and thread your right leg back through a flow or into down dog. When you arrive in dog, find stillness, find stability, find peace as you return to this familiar place. And then inhale your left leg to the sky, bend through your left knee and open your hip. Options for circles, options always for stillness, or shifting your shoulders forward, step your left toes behind the right, open up hips and heart. Let your hand drop back, your gaze follow. And then plant your left hand to the earth, draw your left, left knee draws in, extend through your left leg, ground your right heel and reach your right arm to the sky. Right palm plants, left foot back to meet right. Take it into down dog. Send your left toes to the sky. 
and make your way into your variation of pigeon. So with your right leg extended long behind you, the left shin might be more parallel to the front of your mat or more on a diagonal. Set yourself up here with any block or pillow underneath the left hip. I didn't know that this side might feel completely different. So you don't necessarily have to do what you did the first time around. It will look and feel different, very likely. Find your fullest expression here. Find a variation of the posture where you can sustain stillness and sustain fluid breath. Allow steady breath to be the most important aspect of this physical shape. Remember, we allow this shape to symbolize letting go, releasing, which then grants us the freedom to have new space to grow into or to move into. Can you accept yourself here exactly as you are while still being willing to move in the direction of growth. Three more breaths. Two more breaths. Last breath. Beautiful, and then start to come to rise, lifting up through your chest. Option to make your way right into downward dog or to take the quad stretch. Release your right leg, plant your hands, tuck your right toes, snake your left leg back, take it into down dog or through one final flow. And from down dog, we'll make our way to our seat, knees to the earth, swing your legs off over to the side and extend. Feet forward. So from here, we'll come into a seated forward fold. Feet are flexed, toes are drawing back in towards your nose and you'll feel a certain engagement through your quads. Maybe so much that your heels even lift off of the earth slightly. Keep that engagement through your legs, reach your arms to the sky, draw navel up and in. As you breathe out, begin hinging forward over your legs. Fingertips reach towards your feet, chest bows down towards your thighs, allow your head to hang heavy. Jaw is soft. You can keep this really active by keeping that connection between hand and foot or hand and ankle. Or if you want to soften into the shape, bring your hands down by your sides. Invite in some rounding through your shoulders, your head, and your neck. And then come to rise, take an inhale, reach up through your arms. And exhale, just allow your hands to fall. We'll scoot our way forward, bend through the knees. Bring your hands to the back of your thighs and then slowly start rounding down, shoulders, head and neck, ground. Walk your feet in. Plant your hands down, framing your torso. We'll make our way through bridge posture. So today I'll offer two back bends. One is an active bridge and one is a supported bridge where you'll take a prop and place it underneath your sacrum. You have the freedom to do incorporate any kind of back bend in that you'd like though. 
So for bridge pose, bring your hands down by your sides. This is an active variation. We'll press into palms, feet and forearms and lift up through the hips. So the weight comes into your shoulders. Think of driving your heels into the earth, lifting up just a little more through your hips and your heart. And you can stay just as you are. If you'd like, find an interlace of your fingers. Draw one shoulder at a time underneath of your body. Press into your pinkies and lift up just a little more. And then bring your arms off to the side to release first, palms down. Rise up to your tippy toes and slowly lower from top to bottom of your spine. Take your knees to the right and to the left. Add one more time each side. And then you can come into another active variation. You can come into any other back bend, or if you have a prop with you like a block or a pillow, we'll elevate the pelvis and then take the block or pillow, place it right underneath the sacrum. It's the triangular bone that's at the base of your spine. It's usually right around where the waistband of your pants is. You'll know it's there when you don't feel any kind of pinching in your lower back, when you feel supported. So if it doesn't land quite in the right place, find some time to adjust and then settle in. So the idea here is that you are receiving the same benefits of the posture. You are receiving a similar stretch, but your body is doing very little work. The props beneath you are supporting you and helping you to receive this stretch in a more passive form. So invite stillness in, invite in maybe a sense of heaviness through your body. And we'll take five more slow breaths here. Those five breaths are complete in your body, no rush. Press into your feet and your hands and your forearms. Lift up just ever so slightly to move the block out of the way. stack knee over knee. Try to keep your right shoulder anchored down into the earth in either variation that you're, you're moving into. And draw your chin toward your right shoulder. up through center, knees to chest, center through the middle, and then allow your right leg to extend and your left knee to draw across your body, or both knees bent, allow them to fall over to the right. So if you notice your hips, and with your knees, just adjust 
and draw your chin towards your left shoulder. And then draw your knees up and in towards your chest. That your body still wants or needs. So rocking from side to side. You could take the feet up into the air. You can find another back bend. Good. Another kind of twist. Honestly, it's anything, and it doesn't even have to be a yoga posture. It could just be adjusting your clothing or your hair. Allowing your body to become more, more and as much comfortable as you possibly can. Taking this time just to connect with yourself once again. To ask yourself what it is that you need. And to begin thinking about making a conscious decision, a conscious choice to allow your body to drop into a state of rest. Rest is always built into our yoga practice. And this is time that you've already carved out for yourself in your day. But what you do with this time is up to you. So once you've moved, once you've honored any final postures that you were needing, just allow your body to settle in. You can extend your legs long. Let your head, neck, and shoulders rest toward the earth. And your arms can come down by your sides. If it feels like there's any kind of tension or strain in your lower back, just go ahead and bend your knees and bring your soles of feet to the earth. And you can continue to have your arms resting down by your sides, or if it would feel good for you, bring one hand into your heart, the opposite hand over your belly. With your eyes closed or a soft gaze at the ceiling. Just feel your heart beating. Feel the rate of your breath. Feel the warmth emanating from your chest and maybe the pulse or the energy coming from your hands. Just a gentle beat from each fingertip resting against your torso. And in your mind's eye, set an intention for your time during your rest what you need to receive or cultivate more of in your life through rest. It could be surrender. It could be connection. It could simply be restoration, peace, rest. And then once that gentle intention is set, allow your body and your mind to be still. The idea in a rigorous flow style yoga practice is that we work to tire the body, to burn off some of the energy that becomes stagnant or, or um, kind of kept within our bodies. And when we tire our bodies, in turn we tire our mind. So you're working to mirror the same stillness in your internal landscape that you're creating through your physical body. Sometimes it helps to give the mind just one point to focus on. So I'll guide you through just a scan of your physical body there's nothing else that needs to be done, no expectations that you have to hold for yourself other than trying to bring the body into the deepest state of relaxation possible. So we'll start by bringing awareness into the feet and just notice any sensation that's felt there in your toes, in your heels, 
in your arches. Whatever sensation is lingering there. See if you can invite in and replace a sense of relaxation through every part of your foot. And then draw your awareness up through your ankles, your shins, your calves, and your knees, and relax, your thighs, your hamstrings, your hips. Relax your belly, your ribs, shoulder blades, and spine. Relax arms and elbows, forearms and wrists. Relax. Hands. Fingers. Thumbs. Relax. Neck. Jaw. Eyelids. Eyebrows, cheeks, and nose. Relax. Crown of head, whole body. Relax. And then just as this wave of relaxation washed over your body from the toes up toward the head, allow that same wave of relaxation now to enter through the top of your head and then make its way down through your body into your toes. Draw your awareness inward and notice your emotional state. If the feeling that you're carrying or experiencing in this moment is one that you would consider pleasant that you want to carry with you into the rest of your day, make a conscious decision to do so or if there's something bubbling up that you're ready to leave behind or ready to let go on, just know that you have the freedom to do that too. That also takes a conscious choice. Take a deep breath in. Breath out. Another sip in, full lungs, full belly. Exhale, release. Last one, in and out. And from here, start to invite in gentle movement to bring life back into your body. And if stillness feels right and you want to stay and you have the time, just continue resting. Take all the time that you need. Or if you're with me and you're starting to, invite that movement back in. Reach your arms up over your head and extend your legs really long. Take a nice full body stretch as if you were just waking up in the morning. Maybe you took a little nap and you are just waking up again. 
Hug your knees up and into your chest. Bring your hands to the front of your shins. Create compression in your body and give yourself a great big hug. This class was all about taking the time to connect with yourself. So now you have yourself in a physical expression of love and embrace a hug. Can you offer yourself love in your mind through your words as well? Say something kind to yourself, something supportive. And then when this moment, if this moment comes to a close for you, find your way slowly and carefully up to your seat. It will meet just in an easy, comfortable seat with hands at your thighs or palms connected, just a symbol of gratitude. I encourage you to close your eyes and invite in a sense of gratitude. It could be for anything at all. We'll seal our time together with a final breath. Sip air in through your nose. Part your lips and sigh out of your mouth. I am grateful for each of you for choosing to show up and to share in the practice of yoga today and um, extremely grateful for allowing me to be a part of that practice with you. Um, I also want to extend my sincere gratitude and thanks to Bella Prana for hosting us on their virtual platform for allowing me um, to teach this class and also to Yoga for Change. Um, who is, um, this is typically a class that I teach in the studio on Friday mornings that's donation based. And so if you are wanting to make a donation, your donation can go to yoga-change at Venmo. And um, in addition to being a teacher at Bella Prana, I am a teacher with Yoga for Change and we're an organization that brings yoga to um, underserved populations. So military, people who are incarcerated, people who are in recovery from substance and alcohol use and um, children as well so if you feel called to donate to that change or that um, that cause that organization please do so and thank you so much for coming to practice let me know in the comments if you have any feedback or you have any questions for me and um, that's all I've got so have a beautiful day Thank you, Rebecca. It was good to practice with you again. I miss you. Let's see. Hmm. Now I figure out how to. Okay. <laughs>